All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the young lion, my pot, Shasha Ala, the battle axe. Give a call, hello, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. We rock a thumb to the 12. And I'm just here today letting y'all know, man. Lift up your heads and keep fighting. You know, it's not a time to just, uh, you know, let this thing slip out of your hand, man. We got to keep on fighting. You know, I know, I know how it is, you know. You know, we pray, we fast, you know, we repent. And, and it seems like, uh, you know, a lot of times we really, truly believe in our hearts that we will never slip up and commit the same sin ever again that, that we just repented for. And when it happens, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, we get down on ourselves and we get depressed in this truth. And we separate ourselves from praying to the most high. You see what I'm saying? Just because we feel so down on ourselves for our sin. I understand that feeling, but that's not how we supposed to rock out in this truth. All right. Y'all got to understand that. Look, man, the days of trouble are at hand. All right. This thing right here is not just about works. It's about faith also. OK, so we got to so we got to ride out with this thing. You know, the kingdom is too close to, uh, you know, to just let it slip. All right. This is the book of Second uh, Ezra, chapter 16, verse 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay, so y'all got to keep in mind, the Most High just called us his beloved. You know, we, we not the Edomites, we not Hamites, we not Moabites. We are not the enemies of the Most High. We are his children that have repented and, and seek this face in these last days, man. He woke us up for a reason. All right. He's saying, look, <clears throat> the days of, of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. All right. So we got to have faith on that. We see, you know, all of this shit popping off. We see World War Three on the rise. We see the FEMA camps here. We see the microchip here. You know what I'm saying? We see a, a, um, a lot of these prophecies unrolling, but we can't let this thing slip just because, you know, these demons is turning up on us. We got to keep on riding. It says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide. All right. God is your guide. You know, if, if I drive to the um, if I drive to the 7-Eleven around the corner, do I need a GPS to get back to my crib? Hell no. I know where I'm going. But right now, you know, we, we in darkness and the most high is our guide. All right. So he's telling us straight out. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. All right. And when you start let, letting your sins weigh you down, you get doubtful. But you got to lift up your head and you got to keep rocking out like savages for the most high. All right. Verse 76. It says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. So you how about some y'all shot telling you straight up, man, do not let your sins weigh you down. All right. You can fall in, 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 into major depressions by letting your sins weigh you down. All right. You start letting your sins weigh you down. It's like you think you something that you're not. You're just a mortal man in a corruptible body. You are subject to sin. It's going to happen sometimes. All right. Don't let your sins weigh you down Because when you start letting your sins weigh you down You know what starts happening You start letting your iniquities lift themselves up Alright, can you stop praying to the most high You start watching the videos You start feeling like, man, you know, I'm just created to be destroyed Alright, and that's not even the case And before you know it, poof, your iniquities, there they go They lifting up And by the time the most high send out Yahweh Shah You're going to get judged, man, because you lost the faith you know what I'm saying? You lost the faith. And, hey, man, the Most High is not dealing with the unfaithful. All right? So you got to keep yourself in this thing, man. You got to keep the faith. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 4, verse 26. It says, Be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river. All right? So it's telling you straight up. 
Don't be afraid to confess your sins to the Most High. You know, the Most High knows what you do. He knew what you what you were going to do before you even did it. Just confess your sins and get right. It says, enforce not the course of the river. All right. Now, now what does that mean to force the course of the river? That means to, to, to you know, make haste in time of trouble. All right. You're not supposed to force the course of the river. You're supposed to go with the flow. Go with the flow of the water. All right. Obey the most high. Go with the most high's flow. Don't try to do your own thing when you come into, um, you know, affliction. Time of uh, affliction, you know. Trouble, affirmity. This is our rock chapter two and one. I'm gonna bring this out because because you know this touches right on um what I just brought out. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. Okay, so you know I um Man, look, man, that's just how how uh how a lot of our people get sometimes. You know, say so all of these uh calamities start popping off. You know, Jake start trying to make haste in time of trouble. Then you start trying to do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that in, in the times of trouble. You're supposed to put your put your trust on the most high. Alright? Of course, we are just mortal men, but hey man, that's how we gotta rock out. Alright? <clears throat> From there I'm gonna go to uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 21. In verse 1, all right, it says, My son, has thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. All right, so it's telling you straight up, my son, has thou sinned? You know, have you broke the most high laws? Did you go off again? He's telling you straight up, sin no more. You know what I'm saying, don't return to that willfully. Sometimes we're going to go off. All right, but we got to fight. Do it no more. All right, it says, but ask pardon for thy former sins. So ask the, you, you're supposed to ask the Most High for pardon for your former sins. It's not telling you to go out and blow somebody's goddamn brain off. It didn't say um, run out there and go snort a line of coke or, uh, you know, smoke a cigarette or whatever, whatever. The Bible literally just told you that to, to ask pardon for your former sins. It literally told you that. You know what I'm saying? It didn't ask you when was the last time did you ask for forgiveness? Oh, you asked for it yesterday, don't ask again. It said ask, ask, ask for forgiveness, man. All right, you got to get back up. Verse 2, it says, Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. All inequity is as a two-edged sword, the wounds whereof cannot be healed. Okay, because the wages of sin is death. All right. So the same way you will flee from a serpent, a damn cobra, a rattlesnake, if it popped out on you unexpe unexpectedly, that's the same way we got to flee from sin in these last days. All right. Because if it comes too near you, it's going to bite your ass. Straight like that. <clears throat> now, brothers, you got to understand, man. And these mortal, corruptible bodies, yes, we are subject to sin. Yes, the elect is going to fall a lot. But the elect is going to get back up at the same time. All right? And proof of that is in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. It says... For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right. <clears throat> a just man is going to fall seven times. And we know seven represents completion. So, brothers, you're going to have times in this truth where you're going to fall again and again and again and again. But it's letting you know straight up whoever the elect is. Whoever they is, I don't know who they is, but whoever they is, when they fall, they gonna get back up, and they gonna repent, and they gonna and they gonna strive to keep these laws. They might fall two, three days, maybe maybe the very next day. They might fall maybe the very next week, but whoever the elect is, they gonna keep fighting. They not gonna give up because they told you straight up, 
the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right. And that's falling back into the world. That's not coming back to the law of the most high. You understand? And I'm telling you, man, you know, that that, that would just be a shame, man, to, um, you know, be woken up to this truth and this marvelous light of us being the Israelites, you know, the most high's chosen people, and to just let, the, let it just slip from our hands like that just because you don't feel worthy. Stop feeling like you're something more than what you are. You're just ashes and earth. You're just a mortal body. You're a mortal being, all right? You got to seek the most high, return to him. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 23. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. All right, I'm going to read that again. It says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Okay, because the Most High is going to lift you up. You understand? A lot of times when we fall, to be honest with you, it's just a test of our faith anyway. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at Job. You know what I'm saying? All, 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 all of his, um, you know, all of his uh, afflictions that, 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 that Job went through in his truth, man, he got back up and he kept riding with it. You know, David, you know what I'm saying? King David, he transgressed. He went, he went to hell off. We're not even going to bring up what he did. But King David, he went to hell off. But, but did he say, you know what, man, I'm not worthy. I'm going to stop praying to the most high. I'm going to stop showing my face. I'm going to just fall out the truth. I'm going to just go back into the world. Hell no. Nah. King David went dumb hard. You understand? So that's the same way that, that we got to go hard in this truth. All right? <clears throat> because, um, you know, Luke 12 and 32 lets you know straight up, man. You know, f you know uh, fear not, little flock. It is your father's, uh, uh, you know, good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It's the Most High's good pleasure to give the elect the kingdom. You understand? The, the, the Most High delights in that. You know, brothers, y'all got to stop. And y'all sisters too. You know, Israel. I'm talking to Israel right now. You know, we got to stop um, looking at the Most High like he's just this big bully. You know, we know that, that the Most High is terrible in his judgments. We know the Most High is a man of war. We know what the Most High about. We know. The Christians don't know. But we know what's going down. All right? <clears throat> but the Most High doesn't have pleasure in destroying his children. All right? It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 23. It says, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? saith the Lord God and not that he should return from his ways and live alright the most I was asking you this is a rhetorical question have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die alright hell no you know what I'm saying the, the most High is not up in the heavens happy seeing his children get fucking destroyed he wants us to repent and keep the laws okay the Most High wants us to return to Him and keep the laws, man. All right? Lift up y'all heads, man. Y'all already see the FEMA camps. Y'all see World War, World War III on the rise. Y'all see all of these prophecies coming to pass. Y'all know y'all the Israelites. Repent, man. Get your mind right. All right? And with that being said, I want to say, call, halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Barakatham to the 12. Shalom.